Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I went to do a tutorial or a quick run through of how I cream contour. So I've already done my eye makeup and I haven't really done anything else with my face other than prime it. Today I primed it with the Napoleon Paradis Autopilot Pre Foundation Primer. This is an amazing hydrating primer and I use it religiously during winter. Today I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in medium. I'm gonna Correct my under eye a little. I probably shouldn't have put. I probably shouldn't have put um, my my shadow down here, but it's kind of too late for that. Okay. of desperation and then just blend out the harsh lines or any type of harshness this doesn't have to be like super neat now I'm gonna go and conceal my red spots I'm using the Sonia Kashuk our Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette in Light. And I'm using this greenish shade right here. <laughs> now I am going to contour. I'm using the Real Techniques essential foundation brush it's kind of dirty because i've been using it and then i think what am i going to use today i think i'll use these two so i'm going to apply this one slightly above the hollows of my cheek and this is going to act kind of as like a bronzing agent where it's just going to like help uh blend in the contour because i am applying foundation above this for a more natural looking contour. So this is going to help uh, create a smooth transition. And since it is kind of like orange, it's going to, you know, it's going to blend into the skin better or make it look more natural anyways. And then I'll be doing down here. But I think you can see like my forehead up here is darker than what I'm putting right here. Just a little bit right here on both sides. Darker one, this middle one, and apply that at the hollow. And if you want, you can take it a little further than usual. And then blend it out just a teeny bit. So that way there are no like super harsh lines or anything. Every day you wait to tell it's harder to convince yourself that you could have made up her mind and told her the way she looked that night. Okay, now we're gonna apply this darker one to like the midsection of the nose. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the nose mainly with powder. So I've cleaned up my concealer brush just a teeny bit. And now we're gonna take this lightest one right here and we're gonna apply it straight through the middle so we can be a tub of Neapolitan ice cream, yay. Just like that. Okay, and then let's do a little bit here. And then down on the Cupid's bow.
Okay, and then pat it out a little so there aren't really any harsh lines. Do you guys like the contacts from here? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, that was actually pretty creepy. But yeah, <laughs> today's my first day wearing these contacts. These are the Desio Icy Blue ones. I like them a lot more than the Forest Green. Forest Green? I think it was Forest Green. They were the green ones that I kept wearing at one point. But I like these a lot more. I think the green ones were a bit too. I don't know. They just. I think they were a bit too green, and I think I wanted it a bit more hazel and green, so I probably should have just gotten the desert or the something dream, something with dream or something like that. I feel like I look really funny right now. Okay, so today I'm going to use the Kokendo Aqua Foundation because I've, it's like all I want to use basically. And the Real Techniques Blending Sponge. So we're just gonna go ahead and... So since for my powder routine, I use the Kat Von D. I will use the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is the original, or now it is known as the light one. So I will be using that. I will be using the same brush. I'll be using the, the Eagle Tools Face and Body Sculpting Brush. So I'm going to take the shade here in Fawn, which is in the middle. This is like my ride or die. I love this one. It's like this is the only one I use, pretty much. Okay. I'm mix the other Fawn and Java. And apply that to my hairline. So that way, like, it's not completely, like, uh, cool toned. Because, like, I don't like using the Kat Von D one on my hairline because it looks super ashy. Like it looks. Like, Vaughn. Right underneath. Oopsie. Now I'm gonna take my dual ended brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, from the Tamana palette and I'm using the shade in Fawn and I'm gonna contour my nose. And I always get a little contour happy when I do my nose so I always powder over it with the banana shade Right here, can you tell I love it? And this is just a Sephora powdering brush and I just go ahead and dip it in there and then I just <laughs> go down the bridge of my nose with it. So, well, I actually, I go more around the contour, like on top of the contour, so that way it blends out a little more, but it's still apparent. Yeah, like that. Okay, I moved over here now. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that is all for my cream and powder contour routine. I think I will do another one with the RCMA Highlight and Contouring Palette, which looks like which looks like this. And I have talked about it. I did do a demo on it. Uh, I will link that down below in case I decide not to do it. That's all for this. I hope that this was helpful. And I hope that you learned something from it. If not, maybe you already knew this or maybe you already do this, then, you know, that's perfectly fine as well. I just thought that I would do this. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's a lot of do this, do that, do whatever. Yeah. But yeah, please give this a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.